Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Ultimate Decades Challenge. We are starting the second half of 1321. In the first half, we discovered that Fatima's soulmate is not her husband, Brayden, but his cousin, Zane, which makes things slightly complicated. We also match Noah with Fatima's friend, Daisy, and they are now courting. And Rosemary decided to bring the whole family to come help on the farm for a few days, which in this challenge is really a few months, so that Brayden and Fatima can have some quality time together instead of worrying about work. We are starting off in our main household this morning so that we can have these two try for a baby when they're going to wake up. And then we are going to go and look in on our side households because we do have birthdays to do in the Townsend household and we have enough funds now to go and get Noah married. Alexander, what are you doing in your sister's bedroom? Oh. Oh, that's awkward. Alright, so I'm gonna have these two have a little woohoo. Even though Fatima discovered her soulmate, she still has a crush on Brayden, so right now I think she's probably just a little bit confused about her feelings, and she isn't quite ready to accept her feelings for Zane necessarily. I think she feels a lot of pressure to get pregnant again, which probably isn't helping things. Oh. Here, let's take a look at all of our animals while Fatima and Brayden are busy making a baby. Alright, so let's go do a pregnancy test. I'm getting a bit nervous that she might not get pregnant this year because I did say that if she isn't pregnant within the year, Brayden might go and visit the witch that came to see us the other day. Something's not right from being romantic, not with soulmate. Oh, poor Fatima. She's not pregnant. Okay, so we're gonna have one last chance this year to try and get her pregnant, and if that doesn't work, Brayden might just go and do a witchy trade because he probably sees that she's upset about losing her babies, and he probably doesn't suspect that she feels uneasy because she may have met her true love. And so he's going to try and fix things in any way he can, which would probably be to go see the witch and try to get their twins back. All right, so I'm going to leave these guys here for today, and we are going to go and look in on the Townsends. All right, here we are with the Townsends, and Brandon's mother, Sheila, has given birth to a little girl named Kara. I believe she gave birth at least a year ago, so we are going to be aging her up. And it is also Nicol Nicolette. Why are you out in the bushes over here? Poor kiddo. Here, I'll have Stephanie come and get her. Right, so it's Nicolette's. We're going to roll for Nicolette and for Brandon because Brandon needs to do his young adult role. But I don't think I'm going to be rolling for Kara after all because... She isn't really part of our bloodline, and I was kind of curious to see what a kid would look like with the genetics from the outlaw, so I'm just going to give her a free pass. I Hopefully, Sheila won't have any other children, though. Uh, we have an archery competition tomorrow. We might go back to our main household for that. All right, so first things first, we are going to come and age up baby Kara. Uh, what? What? Wait, what? What the f- She's woohooing with her mother-in-law in the shower in front of her- What the f*** is wrong with you? This- this isn't canon. I don't want this to be canon. Is, is he upset? First betrayal from life event has been cheated on for the very first time. Hopefully the very last. No. I don't want this. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? This is so random. Why couldn't she have just wooed with her husband? He was right there. And now the romance bar just tanked. Of course it did. I'm just going to ignore this ever happened, okay? Because it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, what is Sheila's game here? She, she just messes around with everyone she meets. First woohoo, girl, you had three kids. And Kara is cautious. Okay, so here is baby Kara that we won't be rolling for. 
And I am going to have Brandon and Stephanie try for a baby to try and get her pregnant right away, just in case Brandon fails his young adult role. And Sheila, I'm gonna have to move you out if things keep going this way. You're you're just too unpredictable. So, uh, Nicolette is still stuck in the bushes. Oh, and she can't even go get her because of the bench. Okay, so while Brandon and Stephanie are busy, I am gonna have Sheila come and pick up baby Nicolette and we are going to do her toddler roll. To age up into a toddler, she needs to avoid a 4, an 8, and a 12. And 10, she is fine. We are going to get this little girl aged up. And she is angelic and plucky. Fearless. They are not scared of thunderstorms or strangers. All right, then. Oh, it's so cute. The two little girls have a red bow in their hair. Oh, well, hers are more like clips, but that's cute. We're pretending that they're twins, so that seems absolutely perfect. Okay, so Nicolette is safe, and now Brandon... Okay, these two seem to be mending their relationship, which, um, you know, absolutely nothing happened. I promise nothing happened to have these two fall out. Uh, I'm gonna have Stephanie come and... Can she not do a pregnancy test? Okay, not sure what happened, but here we go. We're gonna go for a pregnancy test. And meanwhile, we are going to do Brandon's. Oh, Brandon, what's with that mustache? Okay, so to age up into a young adult, he needs to avoid a 2 and a 6. 14, he's fine. Okay, so let's get this guy aged up into a young adult. And while we're here, I believe Sheila might actually not be in the right age group either. Uh, Alright, okay, so he was likable, cheerful, and high-spirited. He is now... Cold-blooded and smug. Hmm, cold-blooded doesn't make sense for him, but smug, well, the way I see this is that he inherited a smithy, and then he got married to his childhood sweetheart, even though she wasn't all that into him. So he basically has everything he wants, so maybe he's a little bit smug about where he is in life. He might be a little proud. And as for his aspiration, it's a side household, so it doesn't really matter. I think I'll just have him want a successful family. And there we go. And I believe Sheila isn't in the right age group. Yeah, she's supposed to be an adult, so I'm going to go ahead and age her up right away. This will also be reducing the chances of her getting pregnant again. Which is great, because she seems to be a little woohoo crazy. I don't remember if I mentioned this already, but I also discovered why it is that my sims were so woohoo crazy before, and it's because I- Oh! Stephanie is expecting! Okay, perfect. Uh, I had the extreme woohoo option turned on in MCCC. Uh, I believe it's because I thought my sims weren't autonomously woohooing, so I turned it on just to see if it actually worked, and then I may have forgotten that I turned that on. And so... I still left it on, but I reduced the cooldown on it. So this way we should still get some autonomous woohoo, but it shouldn't be happening as often. Oh, although now I don't know, because why the heck did she woohoo? Like, I still have no strings woohoo turned off, so I don't know why those two ended up woohooing. They didn't have a romance war before. Anyways, if, if it's too bothersome, I'll just turn it off entirely. All right, so this is everything I wanted to do with the Townsends. I am now going to go see Noah and Gabriella over in Henford on Backley. Oh, these two. It's like Noah's such a hateful sim, but Gabriella is somehow the only person who can get along with him. All right, so. What? <sighs> okay, I think I'm gonna have to go and remove the extreme woohoo after all because they do not have a romance bar and they're going to mess around and i mean he's bad natured it seems like his type of thing like him it makes more sense than gabriella gabriella it did not seem like her at all i like that she's doing this right in front of gabriella too but anyways if if uh, mrs paskey here gets pregnant i don't know what i'm gonna do 
Maybe she'll just pass it off as her husband's or something, but her and her husband don't have a very close relationship, if I'm not mistaken. So I can't... I don't really blame her for maybe being attracted to the young... You know, he's, he's 20 right now, I think, or no, he might be a bit younger. Yeah, he's younger than Brayden, so he must be 17 or 18 right now. But she does not get along with her husband, and then perhaps she is attracted to the young, scarred bartender that they have hired here. I'm just gonna let it go, and if it bugs out, it bugs out. Yeah, I'm <laughs> just running. Right past her husband. Yeah, so I may just go and remove Extreme Woohoo again because uh, as soon as I load into a lot, it's like a gamble. Who is going to go Woohoo? So I was going to get Noah to call Daisy over and propose to her, but he's apparently busy with something else. Maybe she's um showing him the ropes, you know, what to expect on his uh, wedding night and um, how to go about it with his new wife. We're just going to say that she's trying to be helpful. These two are done sneaking around. I'm not going to do a pregnancy test for her. I will leave it as a surprise. And hopefully she is not pregnant. We are gonna go and invite Daisy over. Why is he feeling flirty? Ready for some action. Oh god, you better not go in proposition, Gabriella. That could ruin things. Oh, she's knocking on the door of his room. Okay then. Oh, talk about marriage. Why not? So this is a rental lot and I set it up as a live-in bar. However, I don't seem to be able to open the bar. So I maybe that mod does not work for rentals. I don't know. Do you guys use that mod? Have you tried it on a rental? Let me know if you managed to get it to work because I have not been able to. Oh, set us front door. Okay, I guess. Oh gosh, okay. I thought she had propositioned him. Wait, did she proposition him? Or was that the talk about marriage? Cheated for the first time. Oh, Noah. Uh. Okay, I don't know if she... Was she unreceptive to the talk about marriage? It's possible she was. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, I'll have him flirt a little. Because we need their romance to be much higher to be able to propose. Here, I'll have him offer a rose and everything. Oh. Okay. Ooh, that looks painful. Awkward encounter. Gabriella, go. What? Wait, what? Some something's broken. He's your nephew. You can't mess around with your. Something is broken. Okay, I need a computer asap. Oh god, I can't believe I had family activated. I think I activated it thinking, well, what if we have some really distant cousins like seven generations down the line? Is this going to prevent them from woohooing? So I turned it off, but Jesus, I didn't think that the extreme woohoo would go and do this. Okay, so I turned everything off. I turned off family, I turned off extreme woohoo. So we should be safe for now. And I am going to have Gabrielle here. Just come, come and play the piano. Whatever. Noah needs to seduce his girlfriend Daisy over here. Oh boy. Look at Noah trying to be all smooth here. Oh, she just propositioned him. Are you guys kidding me? I mean, it's fine. It's fine, whatever. They're gonna get married soon anyway, so... It might even bug out anyways. Okay, I'm just gonna let them go. And then once they're done, um, he is going to propose to her. He wants to make out with Daisy. That's fine. Woohoo! Okay. Alright, the romance bar is now high enough. So I am going to go ahead and have him propose. He's probably going to tell her, you know, I got my inheritance from my brother. And unless these two have another child or their children somehow come back from the other kingdom that they move to, I am probably going to be the one inheriting this inn, or at least I'm gonna have a position here for a long time. And so he is comfortable in supporting a family. And he may have even spoken to the innkeeper first, you know, just asking him, am I allowed to take a wife while I'm working here? Aw, <laughs> they're just going to make out. It's not another woohoo. 
I think. Yeah, it's just a makeout. So he probably spoke to... August? What are you doing at a bar? But yeah, uh, he probably asked the innkeeper, is it okay if I perhaps took a wife and had a child while I'm living here with you guys? And he said, he probably said, sure. Why is August randomly coming to visit them? I mean, Gabriella likes kids. I guess she can come and invite him in. Offer him a glass of milk or something. Ask him if he's lost. I mean, August is having a pretty hard time now that he lost his mother and everything. Family kiss. Oh, right. They're actually family, but they don't know it. I'm going to have her get to know him a little bit. Maybe he's feeling a bit lost. And maybe he saw Gabriella around in town and she told him, you know, if you're ever feeling lost or want to talk to someone, you can come see me at the inn. And so maybe he's here just to talk to her a little. Such a cute kid. There, I'm gonna let these two interact a little, and I'm gonna... Oh, this is great! He's talking to the innkeeper, so probably letting him know, I'm thinking about getting married. The innkeeper is going, that would be awesome. We could even host the wedding here if you want us to. Uh, Daisy, wait! We need to... We need to get you two engaged. Just like, hey! He said yes! We can get married if you want us to. What do you say? Uh, oh, sure. Thanks for ruining the moment, Gabriella. Aww, there we go. This is what we like to see. A happy couple. At least happy for now, until one of them discovers that their soulmate is someone else or something. Noah just got engaged. There we go. So I guess the innkeeper might actually move Noah to a larger room. So that, because right now he's sharing a room with Gabriella. So he might move him to another room with a bigger bed and with some room for a crib. And I think... No. Nope. Nope, I'm canceling it. Nope. I don't usually cancel them, but now this is too much. I am going to have to restart my game. Um, but what I was going to say is that Nivard and Cataline might actually be a little excited to have children in the house again. Unless they hate children. Let me check their traits. Chatty, jealous, music lover, unconventional, unflirty, grumpy. She's unflirty and she keeps sleeping with everyone. Anyways. Peaceful, self-absorbed. Yeah, so they're not... They don't hate children, so maybe they're going to be excited to see another generation being raised in their inn after their children left, you know? They might be sad that they're not getting to know their grandchildren since their children moved away or passed away during the famine. So they might be really attached to Noah and happy to have him raise a family here. They're going to woohoo again. This is even more extreme. I, I reduced the options to make it you know, more rare to, to increase the cooldown between the woohoos. And now they're just like woohoo obsessed even more than before. They're like doing it so often. Okay, I'm going to let them have another woohoo. They're going to get married like tomorrow anyways. So I might as well have him organize the event. And then I'm going to restart my game so that we don't have our wedding guests woohooing all over the place. Although it would be kind of funny too. But um, yeah, I don't want all of my Sims having illegitimate children everywhere. I don't know how realistic that would be. I could see Kaylin doing that, but not necessarily everybody else, you know? Shell forbidden words at Gabriella. Why? You just got engaged. Don't you? Yeah, you. I'm gonna have him apologize because Gabriella is the only Sim who actually likes him. <laughs> and now his conflict resolution is in the range to learn the mediator trait. Okay. So I want him to tell her about the engagement. Oh, become best friends forever first. There. I don't know. I just really like these two. They're like the unexpected BFFs. I'll have him enthuse about upcoming wedding. I don't think I can ask her to be the Sim of Honor because they're teens. So we're just going to have to pretend. 
Okay, so I organized the wedding event. I invited only family because I only had 15 places and our family is getting um, pretty numerous. And I set up this little wedding zone over here. So I am just going to have them go to bed and in the morning we are going to have a wedding. Oh, she's still talking to a guest. So I wonder if these guys realize that they might be family. I mean, a guest definitely doesn't know. But maybe a guest spoke to Gabriella and told her about his family and how his mom passed away. And Gabriella might sort of make the link that he might be talking about Gemma, who is... Right, so Gemma would be her half-sister. So this would be her nephew. So she probably won't tell him, but she probably knows that they're related and maybe she sort of wants to take him under her wing and make sure everything is fine, you know, especially after hearing that Gemma passed away and that he only has his dad to look after him. Well, not really his dad, his sort of half-brother who married his mother. Such an awkward family dynamic. There, teach a valuable lesson and then we are gonna go to bed. Noah just woke up at four in the morning. Maybe he has nerves because of the wedding. Oh, and it's raining. It's gonna be raining, pouring for his wedding. Oh well, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna let the weather do what, what it wants. Right, so Daisy is cheerful, loves outdoors, and is well balanced. I think she's gonna be a great wife for him. You know, maybe she's gonna balance out the worst of him and keep him on the right track. Gabriella and Noah are having breakfast together just before the wedding. I can imagine she's asking him how he feels. Is he nervous? And he's probably asking her how she feels since she's technically the next in line to get married in terms of age. Because she's slightly older than Kaylin is. So she would be the next one to marry off and Kaylin would be after her. And she's probably not really ready for that. She, I don't think she's even thought about it yet. You know, they've probably been meeting quite a few people who come through the inn, but I don't think she's found anyone who's her type yet. What could be her type? I think she'd probably like someone who is outdoorsy or who likes plants like she does. She's a daydreamer, so maybe someone creative or at least someone who's calm and peaceful. Oh, why? We'll say it's because he's nervous because of the wedding. Let's start. Okay, so here we go. The wedding is starting and everybody's going to be miserable because it's raining, but... Oh, let's have him play in the rain. Can he play in the rain not naked, though? Yeah, okay, great. Oh, yeah, okay, the other interaction is shower in the rain. That's fine. There, Noah playing in the rain right before his wedding. And here is our family arriving. He's gonna come greet his brothers. There, he's gonna trick Kaylin with a hand buzzer. Why not? And give unwarranted advice to Brayden. <laughs> it sounds very Noah. Okay, here's Vasco. He didn't mind it. He was fine. Cold-blooded Kaylin is very patient with his nosy brother. And Brayden is not receptive to the unwarranted advice. But team is here and all of the younger siblings. And of course Esther is there with her, the flowers in her hair. And Frederick is here. How's the married life been treating you, bro? Tell outrageous story? Sure, why not? So I'm just gonna have Noah greet all of his siblings and then we can get started. Well, I mean, we have to wait for the bride to get here and his mom isn't here either. Oh, they're even hugging. So maybe as Noah's getting a bit older, he's getting along slightly better with his siblings. Oh, and there's his mom. There, we're gonna go give mom a hug. She must be so happy to see all of her sons getting married. Just settling down with lovely young women who are all pretty responsible, you know? All of the wives. Well, maybe except Fatima, but she doesn't know about that yet. But I just feel like all of the wives that we've been finding... Oh, Rosemary, no. They're all, you know, pretty... Lucan. What are you doing here? He heard there was a wedding at the inn and he just decided to come check it out? Or maybe he's here for a drink and didn't know there would be a wedding. 
Uh, is Brayden talking to him? So Brayden just randomly started talking to Lucan. I guess Brayden probably saw, hmm, this guy looks rich. I should be friends with him. Of course, without knowing that this is sort of his uncle. So where's the bride? Oh, she's over here. Okay, our bride is here. So he wants to hold her hands. So I'm going to come and do that just before they exchange their vows. Okay, this is good. The Baker siblings are chatting at the bar over here. So he's not outside talking to Fatima. It's probably for the best. Ooh. So I guess that was holding hands. And oh, he wants to kiss Daisy. He wants to be friendly with Daisy. Okay, and the sun came out just in time for the ceremony. Okay, hang on. Just so that it doesn't bug out, let's have everybody take their seats. And I am going to control Daisy to bring her over here. And I am going to have them exchange vows and kiss. So that was it. They exchanged their vows already. I'll just have them do a spousal kiss while everybody's <laughs> gathered there. Um, yep. Oh, there we go. Another successful wedding. Amazing. I'm really looking forward to having at least one sim get married when they're an adult so that it's not half as weird. Oh, Fatima and Brayden. This is the only couple that keeps doing this intimate dance. I don't know why they specifically... Oh, look. With Zane in the background. It's like he knows she's his soulmate and... He sees her with his cousin, so of course he can't see he can't say anything. But they know. And she doesn't want to believe it. I think she's trying to convince herself that Brayden is the one. But then we've got Zane over here with his different colored eyes and his scars just sort of watching on. Okay, so this is kind of fun having everybody gathered here. So I'm gonna have our newlyweds. Oh, actually she might already be pregnant. So I'm just gonna have her go and do a pregnancy test and if she's not pregnant then I'm gonna have them go and try for a baby. So regarding family names, I know they weren't much of a thing in the 1300s. So I'm kind of tempted to change Noah's name from Barrow to either his wife's name so it would be Noah Wright. Or he could take the family name of the innkeeper, assuming that the inn would be passing on to him. So it would be Noah Pasquier. I don't know. Do you guys have an opinion? Do you think it would make more sense for him to take his wife's name or his boss's name? But he's going to be inheriting the Pasquier Inn, so maybe he'd want to have the same name as the inn. Did she do the pregnancy test? I didn't see the result. Is she not able to go to that bathroom? Oh, Frederick is in the bath. Oh, whatever. Just walk in on him. Oh! And she's pregnant! I'm gonna have Daisy come over here so that she's not next to naked Frederick. All right, so Daisy is pregnant. And of course, she is not going to tell Noah at their wedding because that would mean that she was pregnant. What? What happened? Um, right, so she's not going to announce anything right away because then it would be obvious that they woohooed before getting married. But, um, this is great. So Noah's- I saw a heart. Oh no. No. No, what did you do? Did you flirt with someone else at your own wedding? No, okay, I think he may have flirted with Daisy. And maybe she's upset. <gasps> no. He flirted. Who did he flirt with? Slap? Wait, who's slapping who? Who's angry? Who flirted? I missed something. Oh my gosh. Oh man, these two. This this marriage really is not working. Okay, I have no clue who flirted with who, but it doesn't seem to be Noah. It seems to be Caitlyn who flirted with... I don't know who. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this wedding. And I am going to move Daisy in. And there we go. So we are down to just Gabriella in this household who is left to get married, but I'm gonna give her a few years. I think Gabriella, she might be content just working on the garden here in the inn with Noah. Why are you bald? And 
she's gonna wait a while before she meets someone that she really wants to marry. Funny. No. <sighs> I mean, I would say that maybe Gabriella is into women, but she has nine pregnancy tries, so she's not that into women. Maybe she's bi. Okay, I'll let it go. I have a feeling Caitlyn is just really lonely, things aren't going well between her and her husband, and maybe she just really wants some company. Oh, she's farting back, and she keeps breaking her arms. So I'll let them. If they want to have a little fling before Gabriella gets married, I'll, um, I'll let it go, you know? Maybe Gabriella is going to make Caitlyn feel a bit better in this marriage that she's trapped in. Stress about lost time. Man, Gabrielle is sort of stuck in between the two, isn't she? Okay, so that was it. That's all I wanted to do in this family. So I'm going to head on back to our main household so that we can make a last attempt at getting Fatima pregnant. Okay, so here we are back at the Barrow, Braden Barrow Farm. Not to be mistaken for the other Barrow Farm, which I'm going to have to rename eventually. I'm gonna go and have Fatima and Brayden have a woohoo and everybody let's cross our fingers together because if this is unsuccessful again, Brayden is going to go see the witch. On one hand because he wants Fatima to feel better, he knows that she misses the babies, but also because he might actually fear that she isn't able to get pregnant again and he really wants a family. So he may go and beg the witch to bring both of their twins back. Although the other thing that he could go and ask for is just for a new pregnancy. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Should he try and get the twins back? Or should he instead go and ask for a new pregnancy? Or to make sure at least that Fatima doesn't have any fertility issues? Oh, an egg that was incubated is ready to hatch. Okay, I'm gonna go and send- Ooh! I'm gonna go and send Gabriella. Right, so I guess since we were in another household, none of our chores got done. So I'm gonna have Gabriella come and do that right away. Uh, so, did they? They did. Okay, here we go, guys. Okay, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <gasps> She's pregnant! Oh, thank God. Thank God she's pregnant. Oh man, I was so afraid of the witchy trade. Okay. I mean, it would have been kind of exciting at the same time, but... Okay, so no witchy trade next time, next year, for Brayden. Well, unless you guys think he should do it anyways. They're still going to dance intimately? I mean, it's fine. Rosemary and the rest of the family is here to do the chores. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna control our guests over here, and I'm gonna have them go and help out with the chores. Okay, I am so happy about her being pregnant. I'm even gonna have her come and tell him right away. Yeah! The news. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yay! I don't need to sell my soul to the devil after all! Way to go, Brayden and Fatima! Oh, now they're flirting! She must be so happy. But if she loses another baby, though, she is probably going to be absolutely devastated. I don't know if she's going to come back from that, you know? If she loses another child again, maybe she might not want to be pregnant again at all. Maybe she's going to become scared. It's a little late to organize an archery competition, so I might actually just hold one at some other time. What I meant the archery competition event to be was like the king's name day or something and then they would sort of party at the tournament ground. But last time I, I play tested it and I tried to do an archery competition at the tournament ground that I created and it just didn't work. And I'm not really sure why. So um, I don't really want to go through that again. So I might just have an archery comp, like a friendly neighborhood archery competition instead when we have a day that isn't too busy. The day isn't quite finished yet, so what I'm going to do with these guys is have them work to make some money. All right, so I have to deduct the money for Noah's inheritance. So there we go. We're going to remove 5,172 simoleons and 
We have one inheritance down. We've got six to go. And of course, our debt to Quinton as well, which is more than all of the inheritances combined. It's the end of the day and also the end of the year. So I'm going to be leaving this part here. This is a pretty good year. We managed to get Noah married off and we have Fatima who is now pregnant and expecting another baby. Hopefully everything will go well with this one. Next year, we have a few birthdays to do. Adriana will be aging up into a teen and Stephanie will be aging up into a young adult. So once again, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.